A volcano at alert level zero is a volcano where nothing is happening. And we just have the typical environmental hazards and there's no volcanic hazards at that volcano. A volcano at alert level one is experiencing minor unrest and there may be some volcano unrest hazards like the geothermal systems or volcanic gases or earthquakes. A volcano at alert level two is experiencing moderate volcanic unrest. There will be some activity occurring on the volcano, it'll be contained within the crater and there will be volcanic unrest hazards and a potential for an eruption. Volcanic alert level three is a minor volcanic eruption. The eruption will be affecting just the area around the active volcanic vent, either the summit of the volcano and near the vent. Volcanic alert level four is a moderate volcanic eruption and this is where the hazards extend way beyond the active crater onto the flanks of the volcano and maybe even more distant. There may be lahars or lava flows or debris flows on the flank of the cone. There may be ballistic blocks being thrown from the crater. Volcanic alert level five is a major volcanic eruption where we have significant hazards on the volcano and could be affecting communities you know, way away from the volcano. At volcanic alert levels three, four and five, the volcano will be producing volcanic ash However, the volcanic alert level system is really focused on what is happening at the volcano, not so much the distal effects that ashfall could be causing. So when the level of activity changes at an active volcano, we consider the GeoNet monitoring data, interpret it, and using our experience and knowledge, and as a group, we then decide what the appropriate volcanic alert level should be and notify people of the new level.